Hi, it's Bernie Goldbach from www.insideview.ie, top quote on Twitter, YouTube, um, top quote over there. I'm in my back garden looking at Sunday papers in Ireland. I'm an American, you can tell by my accent. It's the 4th of September, rugby's in the news, so is the All-Ireland hurling final. Some quick looks at the way things are going in the Sunday papers today. Sunday Times, first of all, Damien Kyber, Irish Outlook, has a point of view about the welfare gravy train is what he calls it. It must be derailed, he says. Painless lessons are long gone right now, painless reforms. He says the issue that has to be addressed right now is too many people can get more from the state in net terms for being unemployed than they can for working. Where I work, we have a labor market activation fund we try to push through. Activation being the point of view. Activate people's skills. In the Sunday Independent, a paper I normally don't buy. I, wrote, I bought it today because, well, I wanted to see what Shane Ross was saying, but at the end of the day, I learned more from Banker Matthews on Twitter, at Banker Matthews, better ideas about addressing the bondholders, the people that loaned Ireland money and don't actually deserve a return, 100% return on the money. Welfare lags are going to be targeted in the next budget. Major reforms, says John Drennan. Same thing Damien Kybert says. It will become as a chilling news for a lot of people. Lifestyle choices, staying on welfare, are going to be affected. And um, that's because the Irish ministers are thinking about providing for sharper, shorter periods with real drops in benefits. It's going to affect several people that I know. How universities can help Ireland recover. Professor Brian McCraith writes the article, which you know, it was in his blog last week. If you read the ninth level aggregator, you would get that kind of coverage. Well, for Citizens Unsustainable, says the editor of The Independent, same old, same old thing. Ireland spending two thirds of the tax take on welfare, unsustainable. And that's the, the story being heard throughout the papers. <laughs> we even go into what Sunday Business Post says about it, because it's the same old story. Um, Got to cut back on stuff. Moving to clarify, or moving to clarity on debt forgiveness, Richard Kern writes in the News Focus section of Sunday Business Post, basically saying banks are probably going to have to decide individually on who can't pay mortgages. No single solutions. A, ser a series of measures banks are going to need to apply for a period of time. A lot of people don't trust the banks or the people that got them in trouble in the first place. Dick O'Brien, who's a technology correspondent and currently the editor of this month's Computer and Business Magazine, zeroes in on Colin Greeley. Colin Greeley is um, from the Digital Reach Group. I knew him when he was at Ireland on online. Sold it out. Um, good stuff. <clears throat> Basically saying in the article, it's like the Irish soccer team. Um, he's looking back on his own career saying uh, 15 years ago when I first connected with IOL.ie, Ireland Online. Oh, he's looking to the United States for the way things are going, and now he says it's the other way around with regard to mobile advertising. I'd like to learn more about that. Uh, obviously, he knows what he's talking about. In the Recruit Brief section, they're focusing on, uh, well, Professor Brian Norton, who I've met here at DIT, and the Digital Skills Academy. Down the street, a, a boy racer who's obviously not affected by uh, the cost of petrol or excise duty. I and mean, we need to deal with some of those guys sometimes. We need to deal with them maybe aggressively. Maybe make him go on the digital course launched. And uh, what's interesting to me is the Web Elevate uh, Level 8 program aimed at job seekers, focusing on mobile app development, web commerce, global marketing, video production for the web. We teach those kind of things. I'm interested in that myself. Enterprise Ireland is seeking applicants for a development scheme called IGAP. Well recommended. The deadline's this week. It's in the third year of existence, and I know some guys going through it. Really, really, really good program. Okay, billing billion color baby in the end gear section of Tech and Net in the Sunday Times magazine points out something you might not think about, and that is 25 euro getting a phone that you can actually connect, well, through Edge. To, uh, to data. FM radio, MP3 player, 16 gigs of music storage. Doesn't look well, but boy, I tell you what, it's got near field communication. It can house two SIMs. Inside the commuter and business magazines, connecting people together in social networking. Um, some interesting stuff in here, written by Dick O'Brien. Pretty much uh, something that's not true is that Connor Lynch says, look, it's free. Social networking is free. Hey, it's going to take time to do it, and time is money. So uh, as Krishna Day recommends in the uh, end of the, of the article, you need to have some ideas about how you're going to do this, like what is the market, 
and uh, you know what's your what's your purpose in that new mark what's your goal and is it relevant is social networking actually relevant for you I'll end with Jennifer O'Connell good lady um, on Twitter was Jen O'Connell and she says and she's looking at ethical consumption she says consumption is consumption ethical or not at the end of the day there's no way around it if you wish to get truly ethical in taking care of the planet you need to consume less so that's what we're doing we're harvesting in our own back garden and I'll leave you with our two strawberries end of the season Peter Donegan sod show on Friday on Thursdays you should listen to it yourself I'm inspired and I hope you are too Check me out, flicker.com, stroke photos, stroke Irish eyes, see the rest of my images, and the small cherry tomatoes that are growing in my back garden. It's Bernie Goldbach saying, thanks for listening for an American view of Irish news. Bye for now.